Hi, you guys. How are you? Ali Wachek here from Square One. I thought of putting a little video because yesterday I went to a great event that was all about my favorite thing, customer journey mapping and customer experience. And one of the things that they talked about was around customer phobia. That's right. Customer phobia. The fact that you don't want to ask your customers for feedback. I know it's so yucky and you're so scared and it feels a bit scary to be honest. I feel pretty scared myself when I think of asking you guys what you think about the things that I do. Do they resonate? Do they make sense? Are they really truly giving the value that I want to give and that you need? Um, are, are you enjoying the experience? Is there anything else that I can do better? I can be doing better and it's really scary. It's nerve wracking and I get that. But the value of asking your customers for feedback is so powerful and I totally encourage you to do so. There are many ways that you can go about creating um, a culture in your business or whether you are a solopreneur in, in, in your business also to understand your customers. Is, is, it could be really powerful. So one thing that I would say, number one is create a feedback culture in your business. And that sounds probably like, oh, that sounds so fluffy, Ali. What does that really mean? It really means that you create an environment where your, where your employees or yourself uh, is genuinely interested for, for feedback. It's actually genuinely keen and questioning. Does that, does that make sense? Would, would that be what our customers want? And that's even before you go out there and speak to your customers. That's even before you ask them any questions. You need to make sure that you, you, you every time and your employees as well are going, does that create value that I, that I need to be creating for my customer? Does that resonate with that customer, that very person, at the very channel, at that very touch point, right? That's the sort of question. So that's the sort of environment that you need to create. Number two is identify probably the most painful touch point and the most challenging or biggest problem that you have in your business today that you know for a fact it is really painful, but you can't run away from it. You need to, you need to face your fears and you need to face your customers. If you fix that problem, because you know if you fix that problem, a lot of the other things will be fixed naturally because you have already fixed the biggest problem, the biggest challenge, the biggest pain point for your customer, then you will know that right away a lot of the other little problems around you and your business will disappear. So ask your customer, what is the number one pain point when you engage with us as a service or as a product provider? Tell us that number one thing. If they could list that number, if they can give you one thing, if they can give you three things, that will be fantastic. That will really get you ahead with your competition, with the other customers, actually knowing and forecasting what your customers want from you because you already know, they're already telling you. Number three is implementation. Make sure that whatever information that and feedback and insights that came from your customers, either because you asked them directly via an online survey, a focus group, you pick up the phone and chat it to them, make sure that they know you implemented those changes. Make sure that you implemented those changes and that you told them the input for it, like the changes that happened from that and that you actually wanted them to let them know that you value their time so much and that you implemented those changes and that you're so grateful for their feedback at the first place. This will not only give you a great level of satisfaction, but it will also make your customers feel warm and fussy about you. They will, if they're not already an advocate for your brand, they will probably very likely be an advocate for your brand or a brand or, or, or someone who would genuinely tell other people about what you've just done. Believe me for it, it will happen. Don't have customer phobia, guys. It is just a thing in your head as all of the other fears and, and, and things that we create in our heads. I create so many things in my head all the time and even now doing this video, I'm like, oh my God, I couldn't do a Facebook Live because I was so freaking scared that I haven't done one in like months. So there you go. It is very normal. We're humans talking to humans. Just remember that. Love yourself. Love your employees and love your customers the most. They will thank you for it.
Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.